Notion app is the only one application that saves my day as a homemaker, as a mother, and as an online entrepreneur. And I do think that whatever role you have alongside of being a mother, this amazing application will also help you. And today, I'm going to bring you along to have a tour inside my Notion app, how this amazing application has been helping me. And we are going to start right now. All right, so now we are here on my personal Notion account, as you can see on the left side, and I would like to begin in that section because here you will see the favorites categories where uh, you can choose whatever pages you want to put in. In here, I just chose the ones that I always check on on a daily basis. And then I have my workspace section where um, I put my um, online business on the, this category and also my content creation where I put ideas and write my writings for this YouTube account. And um, next uh, thing is my private category where we will talk a lot about and um, if you're a mom and watching this and wanting to use Notion, um, this is where we will have um, similarity with or sim similar with so i'd like to focus in the private pages that i have here that i will show you so first thing when i build up my notion account i would like to start on my personal page so it's easy to get everything uh, out of your mind uh, about your personal stuff Whatever information you want to put it in, in one place, I think it's better to start uh, on your personal, you know, if you, if you know what I mean. So I will show it with you. It's showing on my screen right now. And you see that on my personal page, I would like to be on track on my financial and uh, budgeting, investments, savings, and also selling something. So this are my financial. I'm not going to show it today but uh, if you want a comment down below if you would like to see that but um, uh, today I would like to show simple pages here now my main goal for notion account is to be minimal and easy to navigate and that all the information that I always think about in my head will be here and easy to uh, to look at and aside from that easy to design to you know what this is what i love about notion because you can be you can design it whatever you want so um on here as you can see on uh, my personal page i design it very simple i did the color um coding if that's the right term uh with financial i colored it blue and self-improvement colored it in purple and what i love about notion is the emojis it's so cute because they can you can it can add life uh to your organizational um uh digital organization right so it's so cute that i cannot uh miss adding um emojis so here um on my books to read uh, page, I love reading, parenting, and self-development. So this, this I used uh, the box ticking where you, you will check, cross out if you have that book already. Yeah, and it's so simple, right? Whatever book you want to read or whatever things you want to track off with, then you can use this format easily. And uh, for my self-care ritual, it's so simple, nothing fancy. I just used simple words, what I have to do for my self-care ritual once a week so that I have to be reminded what ritual I have to do on that day. And um, what else I, can, I would like to show you? Here are my personal core values. Again, this page is whatever that is in my mind I want to keep to journal with or to keep with. I can go on this page and uh, put it here in my personal page. So here are my personal core values. I did a video about finding out your core values. If you're interested, go check out my video about it. And I... I like to keep it. I like to be reminded what are my core values are. So I keep it here. 
So here are my uh, my uh, personal pages. It's so easy to come up with this format. And then moving forward to home, where as a mother, <laughs> we all uh, manage our home, our household. So it's so important to organize this stuff. So moving forward to the household section, I have my weekly meal plan. I have my recipes, my inventory for food and miscellaneous, and my cleaning schedule. And as well as my Simplify Home project where I really want to keep track on the furniture, furnitures. And my Simplify Home project where I track on my kitchen and furnitures and office supplies, stuff that we get in, in here on our home, as well as to celebrate, you know, we have our movie list and our travel plans, as well as our family goals. The good thing about Notion is uh, this space here, this page here, you can actually convince your husband to make his own Notion account and um, connect this home page to his Notion account so that he can also view this, especially for the grocery list, for example, right? Whatever that needs to be bought will be there. So that is also one of the amazing things about Notion is that it's uh, shareable. Your pages are shareable and he can also edit it. So I, I would like to show you uh, our weekly meal plan. So I chose this format where I put the Monday to Sunday and then um, use this, I don't know what you call this arrow where you can, you can just click it and it will show up details, more details. So this is my spring and summer meal ideas as well as autumn and winter dinner ideas because I feel like some of some food are not just proper during summer. I don't know about you. I live in Norway and sometimes a burger is not, just not appropriate when it's uh, very cold outside. So I plan it based on uh, based on um, how we feel sometimes and what's available in the in the market. So uh, this is what I do. Meal planning is one of uh, the things that saves time for me because uh, for a family that has a lot of restrictions and allergies, planning is a necessity it's not something that that can be forgotten because having allergies in your, within your family is kind of like stressful if, if you do it daily you're gonna burn out that's that's what happened to me at least so if you are also running out of meal ideas maybe this meal plan thing can can uh, remove that stress on you. And I really recommend that to put that uh, in one place and put everything so that you can always go back and remember that, oh, I, I can make this uh, during Tuesdays or Fridays, so and so forth. So uh, this is how it looks like for me, for us. And then going back home, um, I have recipes, which is also amazing. I love this because what can this do is to copy the link. For example, you have your favorite website for recipes. You can easily copy the link and put it over here and say that that's your favorite recipe. Then you can just always go to your Notion. It's in one place and you can click it and you can def you, you can immediately go into that recipe without going to google and without typing in the link and searching your favorite uh, recipe so notion helps you to be organized with your recipes which is amazing this is what uh also what i love about notion i couldn't express it that much <laughs> um and then moving forward to food and miscellaneous inventory so I have my inventory for the refrigerator, for our pantry, for the freezer, bathroom, and cleaning. So every time I go on to our grocery list, I check on this, what whatever is missing. And uh, then it's easy for me to, to um, not forget things that we have to buy for our grocery. And then my cleaning schedule. 
So here, it's important for me as a work from home mom to really be strategic about my cleaning schedule because if not, then I will be all over the place and um, scheduling everything is very important for me as a work from home mom. So I dedicated Thursday, as you can see, my Thursday is dedicated for cleaning. Most of the things that I have to do at home is dedicated in uh in here but every day i do laundry throwing the garbage and folding the clothes because it's easy to accumulate the clothes having a baby and lots of clothes outdoor clothes so i just decided to do my laundry every day and it saved it saves my my day because sometimes it, before um i only dedicated laundry let's say twice a week and that schedule made us have a mountain of laundry because aside from aside from the clothes we have to do laundry for the sheets from the linen from the towels right it's a lot so i just uh accepted okay laundry should be done every day <laughs> so i did it every day and throwing garbage and folding it right away and um also every thursday i also dedicate my organizing day where i organize all the stuff that are um wherever you know for example uh, my organization of toys sometimes it's it can get uh, messy so during thursdays i organize stuff like that as well as the uh, cabinets on my kitchen and um aside from that Thursdays is all also the planning day for me. So every week I try to plan the week ahead so that it's um, easier and more efficient for me to work on a daily basis. So that's it for my cleaning schedule. I love the system. Doesn't look uh, nice and clear, right? <laughs> and then moving, moving forward to my simplify home project honestly this is not done yet and um as you can see here it's blank uh with, under the kitchen necessities i'd like uh to type it in here the most uh, practical tools i can have for cleaning again i aim to be um, uh, minimal with a lot of my things so to plan it it's very important to really live by it but i haven't done this yet but we're pretty minimal already in our kitchen so uh so yeah i i just uh, like to write it down as well same as with our furnitures and office supplies so that's it for our homepage. Again, you can share this with your husband, which is amazing, and he can edit it. He can add more ideas about this page, whatever you actually come up with. And by the way, I uh, you can also add budgeting here. The reason why we doesn't have a shared budgeting is most of the budget that is done in the household is my husband's responsibility <laughs> because uh, uh, he's excellent in doing the budgeting and uh, right now he is the most and right now he's the provider for us in this home so we don't really budget uh, together yet that covers all, all the household so that is it for the home page and i would like to show you my daughter's page and again you know here in notion you can change the cover over here and change it whatever picture or whatever color you want and add emojis here very cute right so uh in here i uh try to document everything that i'd like to document under her uh, under my daughter and um, I have my nutrition, her sleeping pattern, daily schedules, my observations, milestones, projects, and Bar Barnehage is a kindergarten word for Norwegian because my daughter goes to a Montessori Barnehage. So everything uh, that is there, her materials and toys that I love to be track of, her clothing. So I will show you some of it of this pages here we here you will see her sleep schedule i started taking it note when she was 10 months old 
So there. And then I uh, would like to show you my projects. You know, I do Montessori parenting to my daughter in here at home, and a lot, a lot of the projects uh, are related to Montessori. For example, she's showing maximum effort. If you know that Montessori term, uh, that's when a toddler really exert, exert a lot of their effort to carry heavy things. So uh, she was uh, in that period. So I had to like provide something heavy for her that she can manage to lift. And I also tried to sell her old baby clothes and, as well as pictures of her family and so and so forth. But everything I'd like to do or to DIY goes here. And I have this box that I can tick if I am done with it or if I, uh, I collected it already and move it into done if I'm done with it simple right so uh that's for the projects and i think i've shown this in my previous video check it out about notion if if you haven't already but i check i show this already so here with the materials and toys i'd like to collect open-ended toys for her such as the scarves blocks books music instruments characters and art materials so on and so forth so some haven't started already and uh some are, are in progress and some uh that i have already bought and that i am not gonna get anymore so what, what's also good in here is i can check this out and if it's christmas or her birthday then i can just choose here and ask Ask our family and relatives and, and friends the, to request uh, this kind of toy so that's aligned to what we are practicing at home. So it's a good way to keep track of it. So that is under my daughter's page. And now we are going to move forward to my planning system or how i organized my daily to do's yeah i think i think that's what i'm trying to say but my to do's or my goals keeping track of my goals so i would like to begin with the year on a yearly so for example i started using notion since 2019 so this was this was my system last year i will put the months of the year and uh have the events or goals or the things that i have to do based on that month and then uh this year 2020 i tried to change it because i am trying to to keep track of my big goals into smaller goals so i have big goals that i would like to keep keep it small and change it into quarterly and then change it into monthly into weekly into daily to make it happen so for this page 2020 i divided it into quarter first quarter from january to march second quarter to april to june so everything that um under this quarterly is uh, the events, the goals that I have to accomplish, my to-dos. And then under, I have my uh, every month. So I love this format or this system compared to what I did last year. So this is also uh, one of the good things in Notion is that you can experiment and you can see it for yourself what works for you. So I really recommend for you to just dive in and see what will work for you instead of uh, not uh, using it because it's really powerful. And um, moving forward to the monthly. So again, here you can see my annual plan, quarterly plan over here. And then moving forward to the month at a glance. So for example, I'm gonna show you uh, for this month of June, uh, my daughter's kindergarten will be closing for summer vacation in the last week of june and i would like to be reminded of that so i will type it in here so there you will see it here your note on that day 
and that you will be reminded what's good about here is you can actually um remind yourself or put um a reminder to alert you here you can see date or reminder i i use this and my phone will will remind me if there is an appointment in the hospital or something or check up it's it's really very good i love this but um here as you can see if if you are also functioning by color code what i did as well is i add color by using emojis just use emojis that uh, will dedicate the importance of it and for me the red circle is indicating how that it's an important thing to do and you can choose white or black here blue or square and uh or, or diamond and that that can give you sort of like the google calendar before i use google calendar and the color coding really works for me and because now i use only just notion and um here you can actually code it by emojis with with the colors as well and it will show up here right so if you have a lot of plans during the month um then it will show up like this uh and you will see colors too that's what i like about that and you see nothing here because i also use uh journaling bullet journaling on my notebook some days i like to write stuff some days i focus on the digital or both because both of them are effective it's just that some days i don't want to uh, be on my screen all the time uh, working as an online entrepreneur sometimes i get tired of the screen so um having a bullet journal works for me as well that's why for this month of may it's almost like blank but uh, it works perfectly too now moving forward to the weekly agenda i have so i plan my day and also i plan my week and as i said earlier thursdays is a planning day for me as well as cleaning and organizing so um you can see here my weekly agenda i work from home and mondays and tuesdays are all dedicated for my online business and wednesdays are um dedicated for youtube and thursday is um uh, cleaning planning organizing and friday i just take a take off all for myself meeting my friends and eating out going out and just caring for myself on that day without anyone else and uh saturdays uh, sunday is family focus and sometimes when my daughter sleeps then i can script um for my youtube i can upload or uh, we can bake together so saturday and sunday for me is like uh it's just like living without a plan and just be present with my family so that is my weekly agenda now moving forward to my ideal day again ideal right <laughs> i i still work on uh, building good habits and this is the perfect day for me um and i try to go along with it and sometimes i get lost and i will just check on my ideal day and then suddenly i'm i'm back on track so my morning habits um from six in the morning till nine in the morning uh i i'm write, writing it down and uh checking it out sometimes when i get lost and uh as well as for my evening habits morning and evening habits are my non-negotiable daily habits that i need to do um automatically like i aim to um do it without without any delays or without any thing that's gonna be on my way so yeah this is my ideal day page and then lastly i'd like to show you my today's focus so in here you will see what i have to do for today like right now what i'm doing is filming my notion setup for you um and um as you can see here uh the ideal day that i have i i plan my next day as my evening habit because it works very well for me to plan the next day before i go to sleep because that way i will i will sleep better because i know that 
and that I know already what I have to be focusing on the next day. So I always edit my today's focus every night. Yeah, that, that's what I want to say. So editing my today's focus page happens every night because then the next day what uh, when I open my Notion account, I will just go to this page and know that um, that my focus is just filming, for example. So right now I'm doing it and I can move it forward and that gives us a, a feeling of accomplishment. Um, and then when I'm done with it, we can just move it there and uh, tonight I'm going to edit it again. So that's that's uh, um, my today's focus um, page looks like. For me, this is a powerful app ever <laughs> and I couldn't uh, recommend it uh, more especially to mothers like you because it's so much um, responsibility we have on right and we need one platform that does it all and notion is the application that does it I hope that this notion tour helped you to get some ideas on how you can be organized with all the tasks that you have to do uh, this is my first video on notion and i actually have a playlist all about personal growth and development as a mother so please do subscribe and i hope i will see you on my next video bye